Hello everybody, and this is the moment of truth. We're going to test our registration process. So let's go back out here. Let's go ahead and save this. Click on register. Register my name. So falling down here. I'm going to show you a dummy one. You at you.com. Throw in a password here and click register. And it takes us back to the home page. And let's look at the database here and see what we got. So Hit browse here, and here we have the phone username, phone out, email, and here's our B script, B crypted password here, 64 bit I think, 62, something like that. So it looks like it's good to go. It looks like it works. So I'm not going to save this. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a profile here. So we're going to create a new folder under our views. Create a new folder and just call it user. And inside here we're going to have a new file. We're going to save it as index.blade.php. And we're going to set up our user page. So at layout. Master, because we're going to keep targeting the master page. Add section content. And we're in the section, at in section. Okay, first we're going to have a div with a span 3. We also have a class of well. And here we're going to have a legend. We're just going to say, Would you like to? And then we're just going to have an option here. Next, we're going to create a div with a class of button group. So, sorry. Button group. This is a bootstrap class, and inside our div, we're going to have an actual button. So, button, and we have a lot of stuff to put in here because it's going to be a dynamic button using jQuery and JavaScript, and it's just you'll see. So, type is going to equal button, class is going to equal button button primary we give it an on click event so on click on click we target the div with an ID of upload model Up to modal, sorry, not modal. This is all bootstrap stuff in jQuery. So, modal here we're going to have just a backdrop static. If you want to know more about using this with. Uh, Bootstrap, then there's a bootstrap uh, now on this bootstrap site has a lot more, goes a lot more in depth. Okay, next we're going to have an eye, which is an icon. So, for the icon, and we're going to give it a class because bootstrap comes with a lot of little icon, neat little icons that you can use for free. So, class, we have an icon plus. Uh, it's going to be a plus sign actually. Plus sign. Then we want it to be white. So icon. Ah. White. Okay. 
and that'll do our profile page for right now. Let's go ahead and create a route to it. Go ahead and create a route. So let's go ahead into our route section here. We're going to do two things. We're going to route get profile. And we're going to target user at index, which we have to set up still. Another thing we want to do is give the user a way to look, log out. So we route get log out and user at log out, which we haven't created, but we will. And we'll do that right now. So I'll come back into user. And up here in the index, we're going to go ahead and get this profile. So first, we're going to, but we want the title to have the actual user's name. So we're going to do ID equals auth user. Let's scratch that. We don't need that. I'm sorry. It should have been title. So title equals, we'll use the, just the PHP uppercase words, auth user, username, and then in parentheses we're just going to have apostrophe s profile page something easy like that and then we're going to return the make user that index and we're going to pass in the title with title title And down here in logout, we're just going to say auth logout. Then we're going to redirect it. So return redirect to just the home route or default route. Okay. Let's go ahead and save both of these, go back, refresh, see if we've got any errors. We don't. So let's see if we can log in and see what we get here. And there we go. And in our button we didn't put anything. So let's go ahead and go back into our button here. Where is that here? I'm just type in upload a tick. Control S, go back out here and refresh. And there we go. So now we have a button here. We have our name up here, falling down this profile page. Upload a pick and we can log out. And try it again. Throw a password in, sign in, takes us to our profile. And of course, the upload click doesn't do anything because we haven't set it up yet. Okay. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial. We'll be back again. And in the next one, we'll go ahead and start hashing out our photo controller. And there's only going to be one method in that. And we'll also be doing our modal. Alright, well, stay tuned.